Well, greetings and salutations. Mike here from Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada, here today to answer another question from a customer. And that question is a very common one that we're hearing a lot of these days with the price of fuel. And that is, Mike, how can I improve the fuel economy on my vehicle because these gas prices are killing my budget? Understandably so, it's affecting all of us. Um, so I don't uh, claim to have all of the perfect answers, but I have made a list of some items that will hopefully help in case you are unaware of what they can do to help you. Um, first and foremost is go easy on the pedal. Um, if you are at a stoplight, don't do a jackrabbit start. That means don't put your foot to the floor. For some of us, this is harder to do than others, I'm sure. Um, you might notice that your fuel economy is worse or your gas gauge is lower when your kids, teenagers, are driving the vehicle. I might give you some indication uh, as to why. Um, Self-explanatory, it takes a lot of power to get the vehicle going. And if you are hammering the fuel down, the car is, the computers in the vehicle are telling the car, hey, we need to get up and go. And it's making things just work that much harder and pumping that much fuel to get it up to speed. So uh, taking, the, taking it easy on the pedal off the starts is very important. Uh, another one is to slow down. So uh, if you are going over 80 kilometers an hour, which most of our highways obviously are, um, for every uh, kilometer over the 80, you are affecting your overall fuel economy. Depending on how fast you go, you could be decreasing your fuel economy 25, 30%. Uh, and I'm talking, of course, not that anyone watching would be doing 130, 140 kilometers an hour on the highway. But if you're almost doubling what uh, the manufacturer has deemed the most efficient speed to be driving in the vehicle, um, you could be definitely wreaking havoc on your efficiency. So watch the speedometer, just keep an eye on it and try not to uh, think that everybody's trying to beat you home or race you uh, in the lane next to you. Um, another one is um, leave the extras at home. So if you are the typical parent and you have the kids' hockey bags in the back uh, for the weekend and you're driving around all week with those bags in the back to save your back from offloading that equipment in the garage instead of keeping it in the vehicle, uh, there's a price to pay for that. So the heavier the load in the vehicle, the harder the vehicle has to work. Uh, the smaller vehicles, this affects more than uh, the big trucks because the bigger trucks are designed to haul weight. Uh, to an extent, of course, they get worse fuel mileage to begin with. Um, but that being said, if you're driving around in a smaller vehicle, four-cylinder turbo, which the majority of the new vehicles on the road today are being sold as, you're going to see a decrease in fuel economy if you're hauling the additional weight. Um, as well, roof racks. Popular to have roof racks, the toolies, that sort of thing on the top. Uh, your drag coefficient is being affected. Um, you're basically driving a brick down the road uh, with the same kind of aerodynamics as having one of those toolies on. So not that they're a great product, they're very useful when you need them, but once the weekend's over and you're back from the cottage, take off the toolie and you're going to see an improvement in your fuel economy or the ski racks or whatever else, bike racks. Anything that's going to throw off the drag coefficient of the vehicle, you'll want to um, improve. Uh, use your cruise control. There's something that um, a lot of people neglect in using uh, on the highway where you can, where it's appropriate. A lot of the newer vehicles have adaptive cruise control, which makes things a lot easier because basically the vehicle drives itself and will slow down when people in front of you brake. But uh, if you have an older model vehicle, like my old 94 Chevy pickup truck, you got to be aware of what you're driving when you got the cruise control on. But again, you're going to see an improvement in fuel economy because the engine and the vehicle's monitoring itself as it's keeping up the speed. There's a gradual increase in fuel um, and a gradual uh, decrease in fuel as required. So it, it's just better for your fuel economy, especially on the long trips. Um, turn off your car when you're idling. So this was an interesting fact that I learned. Um, you can use as much as four liters of gas per hour. That's incredible. So you think of all the times that you're sitting there waiting for the kids, waiting for dinner, going through the drive-through, 
you're idling and uh, four liters is a lot in an hour and it doesn't take much to add up when you think of all the times throughout the week that you're sitting in the car through the drive through and what have you. That's why the start stop technology in a lot of the new vehicles has come around to improve the fuel economy because obviously the experts know. So now you and I both know. So um, check your tire pressure. So if you have a TPMS system on your vehicle, the tire pressure monitoring system, this is an easy one because the car will tell you if it's down on, on pressure or not. Um, if yours is not functioning or you're one of the people that have snow tires and didn't want to put in the tire pressure monitoring sensors as the additional cost, this is something that you need to check, especially in the colder temperatures because tires will typically drop up to two pounds per week um, from their standard um, proper pressure depending on the temperature outside and depending on the other factors. Um, such as the, the age of the rims, the age of the tires. But typically, if you've got a, a vehicle that has um, a tire with less than 10% or 10 pounds, I should say, pressure than the rest, you are affecting your fuel economy in a huge way. Now, on the flip side of this, do not read and believe everything that people are saying on the internet that you need to jack your tires up to 60 PSI. Please, no. You need to set your tire pressures to what the manufacturer recommends for your vehicle. That can be simply found in your owner's manual or on the door pillar of your driver's door as you enter in. There should be a yellow sticker and that will tell you what your tire pressure should be set at. And that's what you should go because the manufacturer who designed, manufactured and engineered your vehicle knows the best. So go by those rates and you can't go wrong. Uh, you got to get one in for the good guys here. Follow your maintenance schedule. So whatever your um, regular uh, replacement of your engine air filter um, is important because if you've got a plugged filter, think of trying to breathe through a straw. Um, when you're breathing through a straw, instead of having, being unobstructed, you can breathe easy. But when you're trying to soak through dirt and debris uh, from a dirty filter, you're highly affecting your fuel economy and... Uh, causing issues that you don't even know about. Um, let's see, um, replace spark plugs. Um, most vehicles, you're not replacing spark plugs before 100,000, 100, 150,000 kilometers, but they can get fouled up um, with carbon deposits and um, debris. This can also affect your fuel economy. So you want to maintain your vehicle and make sure that uh, if it requires spark plug replacement that you're doing it because overall the cost of a spark plug replacement will probably far offset the cost of the additional fuel that you're spending depending on how much driving you're doing. Have your alignment checked. People are always astounded by this one. So if your vehicle is misaligned and your tires are going down the road and they're supposed to be going straight but instead they're going like this, number one you're going to affect your tires and you're going to cause premature tire wear but number two um, you're going to obviously have drag and the car is going to have to work harder so uh, independent suspensions you got four wheels that can be adjusted so even if one is out it's going to affect your fuel economy so another cheap way to resolve your fuel potential fuel additional usage is to simply have your alignment check to make sure that your vehicle is in alignment neat uh, tip as well is to fill your tank in the early morning or evening. So this is kind of an interesting one um, because fuel is dispensed by, vol by volume. So if you fill your tank when it's coldest outside and avoid the heat of the day, the fuel will be denser. As a result, you'll get more gas for the same amount of money. So not a big deal here in southwestern Ontario where it's cold right now and uh, it, it, it's really not going to affect it. But in the summer months, something to keep in mind if these prices stick around and uh, we got temperatures of 30, 35 degrees outside, this would definitely play a factor for you. Um, obviously, the best way to save your fuel economy, reduce the amount of driving that you do. So that's uh, easier said than done in most cases. But carpooling is something uh, that we've talked about here uh, at, at our shop. Um, for those of us that live close to one another to save on fuel, uh, simply hitch a ride with each other, take turns driving, um, riding in together, taking the HOV uh, works. 
avoiding any unnecessary trips. Uh, I think most of us are doing that now, right? <laughs> by the by, the price of the gas, we're not going out if we don't have to. Um, but the bottom line is follow your maintenance schedule on your vehicle. So have your vehicle oil change completed, uh, air filter, tires checked, alignment checked, to make sure that you're getting the most efficiency out of the vehicle. Because the bottom line is what's good for your car is good for the economy. And it ends up in good gas mileage. So hopefully this answered the question. Please hit subscribe, like, any further questions that you guys may have, by all means, just put them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. Because you ask, we answer. Urban Automotive, safety first. Thanks for watching.